Okay, class, welcome to, to week 15. I'm not going to say much uh, about this uh, week. I do um, a presentation from last semester. And I'm just leaving it because it mainly um, <clears throat> addresses some of the things that I was thinking about in terms of the recap. And <clears throat> I'm just going to remind you again here that the Neil Ferguson documentary piece I have my own mixed feelings about. I have a lot of issues with Neil Ferguson at times, but I also find some things that he has to say um, worth discussing. And I thought that it would be good to use him because he is a person that is considered by his critics as Western-centric or Eurocentric. And uh, he is comfortable with the idea of empire. And I'll tell you that I'm not. But, sorry for all this going on here. Um, <clears throat> so I, I I thought it would be a good way to end kind of just thinking about the semester. Some of the things that I've went over, my own thoughts. Um, you can, you know, f criticize this documentary or compliment it or, or mix it in with all of your thoughts. So that's ultimately what I'm looking for this week. Um, you guys have worked very hard. We went over quite a bit. Quite a bit. And um, I hope that you felt challenged. And um, stimulated. And uh, so... Uh, I'm a little bit behind on grading too. For what I usually do. But it sh it will get done. It will get done. Okay. Um, and then this week. Come the end of the week. This weekend in particular. I want to be able to talk to any of you... Um, if you're concerned about anything left over in your homework assignment and your grades that needs to be dealt with or fixed, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So have a great week. We'll be in touch. And, um, oh, there's one last thing. One last thing. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Look at U.S. support of Saudi Arabia and look at it supporting what it does in Yemen. And you'll see that the U.S. critique of Syria and Russia and Iran's involvement is basically hypocritical. What then do we make of this? Because conditions for people in Syria have been very bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all I'm going to say is don't get played. You know, don't... Um, you know... Don't play into being just anti-Trump or pro-Trump. Don't be anti or pro anything. Use your brain. Look at U.S. foreign policy. Look at what we're supporting and why. And and when you don't know why, that's also a legitimate response. Just don't get caught up in the uh, mainstream media or the right-wing media trying to push all these different um, kind of agendas. I mean, look, U.S. foreign policy is complex, and we don't get educated about it in mainstream media. We get a distorted view of it on the right-wing AM radio or the vlogosphere, to be honest, many times. And so... I understand why a lot of people are confused or take a certain position the way that they do. I'm just saying we all have to work harder. The information's out there. The information is out there about the stuff that I'm talking about. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, Israel and Saudi Arabia have strategic interests united against Iran and their influence on the Middle East, for example. Does that really fit into our interests? Or are we just being convinced that, that should be a part of our interests? How are civilians being treated in the middle of all these different political powers deciding on interests, right? So these are just some things that I think that we should all think about as potential for more wars escalate. Wars have been with us, as we've learned in history, and more are to come. And uh, I'm not a pacifist. I believe that uh, many uh, soldiers around the world 
in our country and beyond join the military really wanting to be protectors of their country. Some people have to. There's a draft. We used to have that. We don't have it anymore. In any case, though, they're not the decision makers, right? The military, uh, people who are a part of the military are not the decision makers. And those of us who especially are out as citizens in a country that says that it's free, um, have the ability to uh, put pressure at the very least or, or, or something like that on our elected officials to think uh, we, we, we have some ability to be a little bit more of a pressure on elements that would like to just kind of react to world politics without any kind of distractions. Sometimes we need to be the distraction, right? That's all. That's all my thoughts on that. So, uh, sorry this... <laughs> This video has been all over the place, too, in terms of wobbling this. Um, we'll be in touch. Have a good week. And all of that. And enjoy being a critic of this interesting documentary. <laughs>